Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back to make three blocks today for my adorable animal quilt blocks. I think that's what it's called. If you want to get caught up on this series, there is a playlist link in the description and I will also put it on the end screen. You can go watch the first couple of videos. All I'm doing is using up some fabric that I have that has these adorable little animals and other things. There's like mushrooms, I don't know, maybe a star, stuff like that. I am using those and I'm just using certain fabrics that I pulled out that I think go good with these uh, little animal motifs that I have. You can follow along and make the same size blocks that I make, but you don't have to have those special little three and a half inch squares. You can just use any fabric you want and it'll be a nice scrappy quilt. Today, this one, super easy. It's just a four patch. This one has a few more pieces and this one also. Those are the first two that I made. So let's go to the machine and get busy. Let's start with this very easy four patch. All you need are four three and a half inch squares. It can be anything you want. Be sure you jot these sizes down in my videos because I don't have this listed anywhere for you. Four three and a half inch squares for the first block that we're doing today. I am just going to put them like this. I will send those through and then those. And I will just finger press for now. So super cute! Now I will just sew these together. It doesn't get any easier than this. I will have a little slideshow at the end and I will have this pressed at that point. Now these will come out to about six and a half inches and you can trim down to six. I like to make them end up a little bit bigger than I want because, you know, if we aim for a six inch block and our seam allowances aren't perfect, sometimes they're going to be smaller. So I aim for six and a half finished, but I trim down to six. For the next block, you need one three and a half inch square. Write this down. Two two inch squares. Two three and a half by two and two five by two. For mine you'll notice I have the two inner rectangles matching and then the two outer rectangles matching but again you do whatever you want and you can put this together any way you want also. I'm going to start by putting this together at the top. I'm just going to sew this to this. Now we have this. I'm going to sew this to this. Now I will sew this to this. This to this. And I do have a little intersection there, and I will try to match that up. I did a very good job. <laughs> now, this to this. Okay, I want to point out that um, this piece is a little tiny bit longer than it needs to be. I'm going to match up my intersection and then I will trim here. It's because I usually do a very generous quarter inch and so it just doesn't want to fit. My measurements are right, so if you do, you know, an exact quarter inch, it should work. But when stuff like this happens, because we don't, we don't always sew a perfect quarter inch, if there's any place that there's an intersection, you can try matching that up and then you just trim the end you need to trim. So I'm sewing this to this.
This little overhang was bugging me. I don't screw up my seam allowances that much. So I measured things, and this little guy ended up being cut at like three and a quarter instead of three and a half. So that was my mistake. The sizes I gave you are correct. I just made this one a little too small. I was kind of using the border as a guide, and I probably shouldn't have done that. But the good thing is, since I make these to come out to six and a half, I can certainly still trim this down to six. So it's not going to matter that I screwed up on this block. And I will just trim that overhang right there. For our last block in this video, you need one three and a half inch square. You need a rectangle three and a half by six and a half. And then you need four two-inch squares. I am going to sew these two-inch squares together and these two-inch squares together. Now I'm going to sew these three together. This to this, this to this. I have learned that these little blocks, they're not all exactly the same size. Normally I measure and I cut three and a half inches, but this time I just used the outer border of the colored part and tried to trim like an eighth of an inch on the outside of that, but uh, that's apparently not working for me because the other one was a little too small. This one was a little bit too big. So from now on, I am just measuring and making sure I cut them three and a half inches square. It just never dawned on me that they could be off by that much. Okay, this is now going to be sewn to this. I love these blocks so much. I love the colors that I picked to go with the little squares, and I like that I have repeating colors within a block. Just very happy. I am going to go press the ones that I made today and I will trim them to six inches and then I'll have them in a little slideshow coming right up and then I might toss the other two in just so we can see how they all look together. Please subscribe. I am not dropping the ball on this series. I don't know yet how many six inch squares I will make. I will try to figure that out and let you know. I do want to try to make at least one video per week. I know I had a little span there. I think I went two weeks without a video, but I want to continue these. I'm going to try doing a video per week, and I will try to do multiple blocks per video like I did today. So please subscribe. Remember, there's a playlist link in the description of this video, and I'll also have it at the end screen, which comes up right after the little slideshow that you're about to see. Click the playlist, and then you can easily find and watch just these videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!